Hello and welcome to DE migration video. In this video, we'll perform migration of 11.3 to R12. The new CA workload automation DE R12 has several new enhancements. It has support for cloud, open source database like Postgres SQL. As of making of this video, we have Service Pack 2 available. We recommend installing that or migrating to that. The SP2 has web client and some new REST API available as well. DER12 allows two types of upgrades, in-place upgrade and migration method. In-place upgrade, here you will install R12 on existing 11.3 installation. It will convert your existing database and artifacts to new R12 format. In migration method, you will install R12 on a separate host, then migrate the data from 11.3 to R12 using the migrate utility. This will require you to have two separate DBs and hosts. They both have their advantages and you can decide how you want to proceed. In this video, we'll show you the migration method. There are some recommendations before you start the migration. It is always a good idea to clean out any artifacts that are not used or needed. Check applications, events, agents, all calendar dates, and variables. If they are not needed, then remove them. This saves you time in migration and your new database will be cleaner and leaner. You can also move between platforms. So if you have 11.3 on Windows, and install R12 on Linux, you can still move the data using the Migrate tool. Now, you can only move to separate platform in migration method. So we have installed R12 and we started it at least once. Now we're ready to migrate, so we're gonna stop R12. And we've also suspended all our events in 11.3 right here and we've either completed or forced completed all the applications so nothing should be running in 11.3 during the migration. So now that we're ready, we're gonna run the migration script that comes in R12. And we're gonna basically select the default values. So it basically tells you where the artifacts are gonna be saved, which gives you that directory name, a migration temp artifacts with a date stamp. We're going to just pause our recording now while it is converting and importing all the artifacts. And we'll also have a look at that directory where artifacts are stored. You can edit them. So if you want to remove an application that you don't want to import, you can do that. And before you start R12. So we're going to have a quick exercise of removing one application here. So here's all the list that got imported from 11.3 and I'm gonna remove one application that I don't want to import into R12. And you can do that with other artifacts as well. So now we're gonna import the global variables that really doesn't take very long depending on how many global variables you have. Once that is done, we're going to move to history data. We're going to say yes. And after a point history data has been migrated, it'll tell you that you can start the 11 R12 while the data is being migrated. So it is migrating. So here we've basically completed the whole migration and it has successfully completed and you can now start R12 and start scheduling the workload. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths. Thank you.